Lake Victim here and I want to talk about another topic for the nursing program and today's topic will be nursing school what do you need for the first semester and some of the stuff will go on to be used in the next semester um, so that's not necessarily something that is just for first semester but as a first semester student that's the most things you're gonna ask what do I need what do I need and a lot of people will tell you a lot of the same stuff, but I want to talk about maybe some brands and also some of the stuff I bought for my nursing program and also talk about just um, better options so that you can save as much money as possible. Some of the options are may not be better, but most of them are because I am on a budget and I need to know some options that aren't going to break the bank. So, some of these items I'll tell you about today are like... It's very good for you to have. Some of them are stuff you're going to have to have. And some of the stuff, like towards the end, which I'll tell you, are stuff that I bought, but you don't necessarily have to have. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So the first thing um, I want to tell you guys is always listen to your school when it comes to what you buy. Um, especially color of, of the item, brand, and also um, what style to buy it in. So... I might tell you a type of shoe, but your school might not want that shoe. I may tell you a brand of sock, and your school might say nope. I'm definitely going to talk about the stethoscope, and your school also may say no to that too. So just know what your school is allowing you to do, and get in touch with your person who runs your program. So, um, and also I'm just going to kind of list these things. None of them are more important than the other. Of course, when I get to the suggested items, those aren't necessarily important at all. Some of the things are just stuff that's nice to have. But the stuff I list right now is just stuff that is good to have, but um, it's not in any specific order. So let's get started. So the first thing I always would recommend um, buying yourself is a nice pair of comfy shoes. Um, and of course, like I said, I have to wear white shoes, um, but you may be able to wear black or you may be able to wear tennis shoes. Our program required us to have leather, white, non-tennis shoes. And so that's what I ended up buying. Our, our program, that's what they required us to have. Um, and so that's what I ended up buying um, myself. And they just sold them at my bookstore, so I just bought them. These were Lando's, uh, or I don't know if that's how you say the name. But that's the same brand of scrubs we have. But um, they're just Landos. They're white. And they were like 40 bucks or something like that. Um, and they're, they're a nice pair of shoes. Personally, um, they have like the insole. like Not memory foam, but like a nice um, inside to them. And they're really like not squishy, but they look like they have some good support. And also they're slip resistant. So they're probably a pretty good uh, pair of shoes, honestly, for a first pair. I see a lot of people say, go with Dansko, go with Dansko, go with Dansko. And yeah, Dansko is a great option, but it's ex more expensive and you can just, I don't know, do on a budget and not get that. Um, they're kind of weird looking. They look like little ducky shoes, what you would probably think of a crop would look like. Um, and that's what nurses wear. So <laughs> they're comfortable, they're slip resistant, and they're white, and they're going to do fine. So they're only like 40 bucks um, at my school but um we have to have white you might not have to have white so we just can't have specific things also the next thing I'll tell you to buy go out and buy yourself whether this is uh, required or not it is required in my program but it may not be required for yours some nice compression socks I also have another pair they're kind of shoved into my shoes compression socks are gonna do so much good things for your legs for your feet for your tiredness just in general in the leg area um, you don't want to develop DVTs you don't want to develop anything um, uh, tired legs varicose veins you don't want any of that you do not want that stuff guys and then of course socks just look nice um, they look very nice um, so you don't want to develop your DVTs you definitely don't want to develop varicose veins or tired legs so um, like I said, my program requires us to have the socks. Yours may not, but go ahead and just get yourself some anyway. Um, I bought these from Walmart for like 7 bucks a pair. Um, the ones at my uh, school store were like $15 a pair, and I said, I ain't got time to pay that much, so I went to Walmart and got myself a pair. I need to go get another one so that I'll have um, more than one pair. I'm going to have as many pairs of socks as I have pairs of uniforms. So I have two uniforms, so I'm going to have two pairs of socks. Um, just I feel like that's going to be more easy for me to keep up with and 
make my life less hassle, less washing a bunch of stuff all the time. Um, the next thing on the list would be, of course, your scrub tops, your scrub bottoms, and a jacket if your uh, school requires it. Our tops are white, the pants are blue, and the jacket's white. Um, also, make sure you make your outfit look uh, presentable. Just That's just part of it, um, just being in the nursing program, or just being a nurse in general, just looking presentable. Um, there's not much I need to say about that, but of course, people always ask how many outfits they should buy themselves. I personally would say ask your program how many they tell you to buy. Our program said one's fine, one outfit is fine, but personally, because I'm going to be in class two days a week um, with my first semester, two days a week, I want to have, uh, I'll be in labs twice, so that means I'll be wearing the outfit twice. So it's better for me just to have two outfits and not worry about it each week and just wash one wash them at the end of the week and move on I don't have to worry about washing that outfit as soon as I get home and drying it and staying up and I just don't want to do all that so it's up, completely up to you um, it depends on how much you want to spend, spend as well um, the next thing on my list is a watch now um, my program required us to have a, well, I don't know if they want us to have a white or not. I never did ask them about that. But they want us to have one that's like a silicone band. It has to have two hands on it. Uh, it needs to be waterproof. And it. I think they wanted us to have white. But I went ahead and just got white because it's the color they sell at our school store. I, um, I would suggest you go to Walmart and buy a watch because they have really good prices but at my local Walmart I couldn't find one that was all the above it had the two hands silicone bands white um, I couldn't find one that was all the above so I ended up just going to a uniform shop and spending more money than I probably should have but because I couldn't find them at Walmart I just went with a more expensive watch but guys I'm telling you have a nice watch um, go to Walmart first though don't just go out and buy a watch go to Walmart first and see what you can find um, but yeah, it's going to need to be able to be washed, so of course it needs to be waterproof, so. Watches are great. Um, also, the next thing on the list of things for you to buy is the stethoscope. I'm so excited about the stethoscope, guys. Um, stethoscopes are, come in a variety of colors, come in a variety of patterns. As you can tell, mine says... MDF on it. Mine says MDF, not the classic Litman you'll see in just about every nursing video you ever see on YouTube will always be Litman, 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 Litman. Litmans, from what I hear, are great stethoscopes, but you're just paying for the name brand of Litman. When you can get a great stethoscope for not that much, um, this one was like 55 bucks. Um, it came within two days. It's the color I love, which is purple. Honestly, guys, don't spend a whole million dollars on a Litman. Um, get you a good one, but don't necessarily spend that much if you don't want to. If you have a dad or mom or somebody who's wanting to treat you to a nice stethoscope, let them do it. But guess what? Tell them. Tell them. Buy me one, but buy me a separate one. Or either buy yourself a separate one. Because from what I hear, Litmans grow legs. <laughs> so be careful what brand you get, how much you spend on it. Because they will, and sometimes do, grow legs. And it'll be your luck for your favorite stethoscope to get stolen. Um, mine's an MDF. It's 54 bucks, 50, 54 dollars I think it was like $55. Bucks. Um, nice stethoscope. I can hear well with it. I was practicing on my niece the other day. Love it, love the color, and I'm just going to love this stethoscope. So get a stethoscope that's not going to break the bank, guys. You are already spending a lot of money on books and all that. Do not spend any more than you have to on a stethoscope because you're just going to be using this a couple of times throughout the first semester. Maybe let yourself get through the first semester before buying a nicer stethoscope, but this is a nice one too. MDF MD1 um, pastel purple, I think that was the color. You don't have to get pastel purple, but they have all kinds of pretty colors. Also with the, the MDF stethoscopes, um, they have like a lifetime warranty on parts. So you get this little baggie of like earbuds and a new little nameplate for it, I guess. And you also get an ID part that clips onto the actual stethoscope. And you get those free for life if they ever mess up or whatever, you get more. So guys, check out, check out MDF. It's a really good deal and all that. So the next thing I would recommend you get, and most programs recommend you get it anyway, is the pin light with the pupil gauge on the side. Um, a lot of people talk about the pupil gauge not really being much of anything, 
but it's it's good to have, especially as a first year student, because you're not sure exactly what you're looking for, what it's going to look like, and it's good to have a pin light. So there's your pin light, and it's mine's like LED. It's bright, guys. I don't know what in the world, but it's blue. Um, I would have preferred purple, <laughs> just because that's me. But it's just the one they sold at our bookstore, and that's what I got. It was like three, four bucks, and it works good. So there you go. The next thing I was recommend you get is a pair of banded scissors or just scissors in general um, these are just plain old silver you can get them in any color any shape any size um, these are like 5.5 I think just plain old silver and they work good they do good and there you go they were like four bucks too so they were cheap but if you get the ones with patterns or whatever they're gonna be a little bit more expensive and I ain't got time to pay a lot of money for the same thing that does this that's all you're asking for is it something that's sharp enough to cut something they're great to have guys also the next thing you probably need to get is your books I'm just gonna hold up one book because I ain't got time to hold up this big old thing of books um, of course buy your books if they tell you to get books get them guys don't let don't let them say it. buy your books and you never do it I spent almost six hundred dollars on books and after paying for my books with um, my little scholarships and all that, I literally had 18 bucks left over. Went with my dad to the store to get the books, had $18 in my account left over. After spending all that money on, on classes and all that, it's just insane, guys. Books cost a lot, but if they tell you to have them, you need to have them. Um, so that's all the stuff that you're probably going to need, it's specifically need, um... Let's get on to the stuff that I kind of recommend. Um, I recommend this, which is hand sanitizer with an aloe uh, or some kind of moisturizer in it. Because your hands do get dry from washing them a lot and putting hand sanitizer on them a lot. My hands get lots dry. So I'm going to take this with me in my bag. It's nice. It'll fit in my scrub pockets or even just my bag. And it's a nice hand sanitizer. It doesn't have really much of a smell other than just a regular hand sanitizer smell. So guys, maybe you should check out getting a nice hand sanitizer. I think this is only like 90 cents. So go ahead and get you some hand sanitizer, people. Um, the next thing I recommend you getting, you don't have to get a pencil pouch. Specifically one that does like this. Um, mine has giraffes dancing on it. Because I couldn't find one that was just purple plain. I couldn't find anything that was just plain. I don't know, it's because it's school time. But um, get yourself a pencil pouch that will fit down in your scrubs. And take your pencils and pen, or your pens, your pens with you, so and highlighters or markers, sharpies, whatever you need with you. And it fits in your scrubs, and there you go, you have a bunch of pens on you. Um, I don't know how many times I've ever gone anywhere and just my pen just stopped writing. Um, I'm not in the program, I haven't started my program yet, but I feel like this is going to be a lifesaver. I have pins quit on me all the time, and guess what I don't have nearby? Another pen to fix. So, with a pencil pouch or any kind of like pencil carrying case or anything, you'll have a lot of pencils on you, so that's good to have. The next thing, and um, one of the last couple of items, is a tiny notebook. I see a lot of people on um, these little nursing channels talk about the tiny notebooks and how they're like lifesavers. Uh, I just like tiny things, especially tiny notebooks. Um, <laughs> but this is good to have when you go into a patient's room and they tell you, oh honey, I need you to go get me a cup of water. So you can write, so and so patient needs water, or a cup of water. Or I need a, a nice pillow, so and so needs a new pillow. And then when you get back to your other duties, you can flip through your notebook and say, oh, so and so wanted a glass of water, let me go grab her some. Or whatever. Um, or lab values, you can write lab values on this and take them with you and know them off the top of your head. Or you can write, um, when you're getting your head-to-toe stuff done, you can write down any abnormalities really quickly and just throw it in your pocket. It's just very easy to take and write notes down with. And partnered with this, you will run out of notebook paper or pens. Yay! So the last like thing I would recommend you get is a nice pl size planner. I like the bigger planner. Um, I've always ever relied on the small planners that are like this size. Um, just because they're easy to carry and there's not a whole lot of paper. But the, the fact that I'm going to be starting a nursing program and I need a lot of room to write assignments and write dates and things I need to do and know down, I need more space. So I got one of these planners that has a big chunk of uh, paper. I can use these. I think I'll be fine. But a bigger planner would be would suffice for um, writing down notes or assignments or anything you need to know off the top of your head. 
Also, with this planner, it has notes in the back, also notes on the side of the calendar, big chunks of the calendar spaces, so there's more space that you can write on that. And it's nice, it's book size, so it'll fit right in your, uh, your book bag, or even just on your bedside table, or somewhere that you can use it. I mean, you know, I think planners are great to have for people who have, number one, people who have problems planning their lives. I don't really have problems planning my life. I like to know what's happening, when it's happening, where it's happening, how it's happening, and with who it's happening. I like to know that stuff so I can write it down and be more organized. I love being organized about when I'm going, where I'm going, how I'm going, and with time. Um, I just like bigger plan. I've never used a bigger planner. This is my first year using one of the bigger planners. But I do like planning things and writing things down so I can remember. And this planner will help me. So guys, anyway, so this is all I really kind of um, request that you probably should go ahead and start thinking about getting. Um, like I said, if you can find it cheaper, get it cheaper. I mean, unless it's just so cheap that it's, it's crap. Get it cheaper, guys. Don't spend a lot of money on these things and, and rack up crazy amounts of money. Just go ahead and get it, but get the right kind, of course. Don't buy it for the name brand. Buy it because it works good, guys. Buy it because it has a lovely customer reviews. Buy it because you know so and so, your friend, also used it and really did love it. So, um, anyway, this is all I have time for this video, and I'm pretty sure I'll make updated videos for different semesters and all that. And I might even make an updated video for this semester as well later on. But if there's any topics you guys want to talk about, Leave it down below and talk to me and tell me what you bought yourself specifically. Um, and tell me how that goes. Are you excited for the nursing program? When do you start? Have you already started? I hope you all have a great day and you guys can all be lovely to each other in the comments and give each other awesome ideas. Thanks guys for watching. Bye!